Homes Online and we're at Lion Hill Meadow by Persimmon Homes and this particular development is in Pankridge which is just off the M6 in Staffordshire. The house that we're going to take a look at is this lovely crisp rendered Ludlow show home, four bedrooms, look at the, look at the detail of it, really really nice. This is a really large development from Persimmon bringing you plenty of new homes. Let's go and take a look. Welcome to the Ludlow, four yeah. bedrooms by Persimmon Homes. Yes, right. Very spacious hallway, isn't it? For start off. Mirror image to plan. Yeah. Okay, so let's look, let's start in this lovely hallway then. So here, ah, you have a study. Dimensions in here are just over the three metres by two metres seven. It's a nice addition to have, isn't it? It's always good to have an extra an extra room, whether you use it as a study or a playroom or even a, an extra bedroom if need be. Very, very nice. Nice big window as well to the front, isn't it? It's lovely. It's, it's a, a lovely looking house actually, yeah. particularly this one that's rendered. It's, it's quite, nice. yeah, I, think it's, I think it's very quaint. It is quaint, it's cottagey actually. Very, very nice. Okay, so this is the living room. Uh, you've got five metres three by three metres three. French doors there out to the garden at the back and lovely big window there at the front. And they've got two large sofas and a chair and a, and a large unit for the TV there as well. Very nice long hallway, yeah. isn't it? Okay, so under the stairs you've got a cupboard. Ample storage there. Yeah, and there's another door here. Ah, a bit that in there nicely, didn't they? Downstairs Lou, with, it, with its own window. That's very nice, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, our CD box in there as yeah, well. that's a good place for it. Ooh. So, through into the kitchen diner. We've actually got double doors here then. And it's got a separate utility. Wow, this is a lovely space, isn't it? Didn't expect this. So it's got its own window there in the dining area. Let's have a look for some dimensions. The dining area is just over three metres by two metres four. So that's kind of probably to here where yeah. the kitchen starts then. I like the double doors. And then you've got the kitchen area. Beautiful, beautiful work surface. Presumably that's an upgrade. Um, and as I always say, I'm not sure what's included, what's extra. You need to ask the sales negotiator for that, don't you? Right, what have we got? We've got a fridge and freezer there at the end all integrated. I like that, you know. We don't see that so much anymore, do we? Drawers actually in the, you know, there's usually a bank of drawers rather than on top of the units. Yeah. But I quite like that. Lots of different drawers because <coughs> we've all got lots of bits and pieces that we want to tuck away. Plenty of cupboard space. It's a nice teapot. Integrated dishwash. <coughs> cupboard space again. What's that for? That wine, could be for a wine rack. A wine cooler. Yeah. yeah. Or, or putting trays in. Yeah. Lovely. So from here, you've got a view while you're washing up, but you can also see down the development, and then you've got yeah. the uh, Canic Chase, Canic Canic Chase yeah. in the background. Yes. And that's the good thing about Penkridge is it is a market town, one of the best, most famous markets. It is. It's, but it's very well situated yeah. for Wolverhampton. You've got the M6, so you've got Birmingham. Stafford. Yeah. Stafford just up that way. Cannock, Cannock Chase. Telford. You can't it's go wrong, do you? And Penkridge is a nice little place yeah. on its own, isn't it? And this is actually one of the only developments in Penkridge. It is, yes. Separate utility then. With its own window again. It does feel very homely, this house, do you know, doesn't it? Does. It yeah. does. You've got space for two appliances, which I like. Cupboard cupboards, cupboards under the sink. I'll get my words out in a minute. There's your boiler. The boiler's not boxed away, but that matter, does it? In here. Not in a utility, no, I think it's fine. No. And I, I do think that if you've got a utility, that's where yeah. it should be. But again, you can shut the door on the utility. Yeah. You've got your door there, actually, to the back garden as well. So did you capture these double doors to show yes, the I viewers did, yeah. how they look? Isn't that lovely? Yeah. And this is a big table with six big chairs, isn't it? But it hasn't got to be this big. You could even have a sofa at that end if you wanted. Yeah, it doesn't even have to be a dining room, does it? No, it could be a family room. Okay, so we're up on the first floor. Pop my bag there for a minute. Hang on a second. Right, so we were 
opposite to plan. Okay, so if we go down this way, it's got a lovely sort of layout to this house. It different. Certainly has. So this right. bedroom is the full width of the length of the house. Yes, and I'm just trying to figure out the plan actually. Then I think this is bedroom one, isn't it? Unfortunately, the plan doesn't. Yes. We're above the living room. Yeah, bedroom one. So this room is five meters three by three meters four. You have to excuse my vagueness with the plans. I've looked at so many house plans today. I don't, uh, show Em's online for you, as would know that's quite normal. Yeah, Emma and plans. Not that I actually don't know where I am a lot of the time. Yes. So that's really true, definitely. It's got its own ensuite. It's a good size bedroom, isn't it? Yeah. So I mean, that I would say is a s double bed. Do you know, the la it almost is as big as a lounge, isn't it? It's it, well, a big, it is. it's yeah, it's same, above it, yeah. It's the same footprint it as the lounge. It is generous. The lounge is below us. Yeah. yeah. Very homely. I You've just get plenty just... of additional furniture. You could fit a much, yeah. much bigger bed in. And over there, they've just got an ordinary standalone wardrobe, but mm, you've got plenty nice of room see. if you wanted fitted wardrobes, and you could double the size of it, couldn't you? It's got an ensuite. That is a big shower. I like that. Oh, that's substantial, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the tiles are impeccable. Really nice quality. Yeah. So this ensuite's got its own window. Bedroom three. The horsey room. It's nicely presented those trophies in the window. Bedroom three, dimensions. Three metres, just over the three metres by two metres eight. Very nice, I like the horsey bedding actually. Bedroom four. It's a lovely room, isn't it? Dimensions are just over the three metres by two metres four. And I would say it is a single bedroom, isn't it? You would struggle to get a double bed in there. Okay, back out on the landing. Ooh, that's a big cupboard. I was expecting the cylinder in there, but it's not. Mm. It's just a good stub yeah. storage cupboard. And then we've got bedroom two. It's kind of situated on the corner this, so you've got corner windows. Well, this is over the kitchen yeah. at the back of the house because it's actually got a piece that comes out there at the back, so that's where we are. So dimensions are just over the four metres by two metres seven. Yeah? Still a good sized bedroom yeah. though, isn't it? They've got a large chest of drawers, they've got a large standalone wardrobe, two bedside tables. It's a good size. But you can just see, again, from here, Beautiful. You can actually see Canic Chase from here, the tower at Canic Chase, just to see it. Yeah. Over in the far distance. It is beautiful. Lovely. And then last but not least is your main bathroom. Lovely mm -hmm. almond right there, look. nicely tiled isn't it? Yeah, ideal sanded sanitary. And actually a really decent sized bathroom. Yeah, this is a really good persimmon house isn't it? It certainly is. Yeah. The Ludlow, what a lovely family home. Yeah. And that actually feels like a family home, it, it feels lived in. It's a really good size four bed. Yeah, and yeah. um, so let's have, let's tick the boxes. A really good size four bed mm -hmm. on a really good development in a really good town. Yeah, you can't go wrong. For a really good price. Yeah. If you want to know any details about this and the development and stuff, just look in the description box below. Yeah, it'll all be down there. But we'd like to know what you think about this house. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. Yeah. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe. We've got many, many other persimmon house types on our channel, so just check them out, if, particularly if you're looking for a persimmon yeah. home. Um, otherwise, we will catch you very soon on our next video. Speak soon. Bye.